Oh, Checker is a legend. Absolute animal. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are we doing? How are we? Zolt, welcome. First, first of many, hopefully, Zolt. Good evening, Vin. Joe Blogs is here as well. Welcome. Q Storm, howdy. Hope you're doing good. Jetto's here for the Series 1 rewards. Already wishing us bad rewards. Just, just wow. Oh, hopefully not though. Hawk Brute Force Royal Cud and Sergeant for P1 Sprints. Wow. That, that's pretty terrible, Dan. That is enough to make anybody quit F1 Clash. Jeez, that's tough. Checker is a beast. Hopefully that sound, it worked a lot better because in the past it has been an issue with Checo and the noises from our soundboard. So Hopefully that was good. Jartman, welcome as well. Welcome along. Uh, Akash, welcome. Jose, welcome. What exactly, Jetto? I mean, there's a silver lining in it all. And even if you are a channel member, if you're getting your own entertainment, then that is absolutely fine by me. Maybe next season, though. Can we just hold off for now? But hopefully we're going to get some decent sprints. I need to get this account up to 95%. And that is a bit of a struggle because I don't think I'm going to get there. I just don't think, I just don't see myself getting to the magic numbers of what I need. Here we go. We're in a race anyway. We're nearly at a sprint crate as my head looks massive in this picture. Sergeant level six, got me enough mile points, points to unlock Fittipeldi. Gasly don't have him. Series 12, Jarman, don't have Gasly. Wow, that's some bad luck. Why is this going really bright? I don't want to be that bright for. What's it doing? Turn it down a bit. Stefan, welcome. Welcome along. Uh, but yeah, I think this could be the last. I think I've got one more race. I'm trying not to use some boosts. We were in control of the sprint group, so trying to use no boosts now. But yes, yeah, sprints, hopefully sprints get activated pretty quickly. Uh, we need upgrade-wise, Jartman, pretty much everything. We need any upgrade. And even if Alex Albon comes out today, I'm not going to be too disappointed if it gets me a level up. We're at that stage. I've had to use some good boosts along the way. And we've got one lap to go. And I'm pretty sure it's one race to go. Obi's here, just in time potentially for a sprint crate. You're late, Obi, but you're not that late. We have only just started. So don't worry. We are halfway through a race. You are watching the same as everybody else has watched. Oh, percentage, Mark. 93.8 uh, something, I believe. So we're not far off, but I think it's 0 0.02 an upgrade. So I literally need about 55 upgrades. I don't think I'm going to make it. Nate Dog, welcome. Didn't accept the invite. Joe, I haven't seen it. Alex and my team not choking with Max Jarman. Don't blame you. Oh, we get P7. No, Obi Do. I don't. I don't fancy paying out for some more channel memberships. <laughs> Julianne is welcome along to join Novus. Uh, I'm not in charge of that one, Joe. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, Eri. You know, I mean, it could be worse, couldn't it? It could be like this big, and that would annoy everybody. Because look at look at the wrinkles that's going on. It's, it's terrible. That's what happens when you get old. But yeah, 95% is going to be tough. I'll show you after this one, after we've done this uh, race, because it should be a sprint crate after this race here. Under 92% worth of a champion P1, Joe. Oh, are you in Series 12 though, Joe? 85% with both accounts for Dan. Going up very quickly, that's like we see, want to see. 94.16% for Mark. Um... 
unlocked series 12 and reached 95 yeah i'm already in series 12 so i'm on the back foot at the moment it is a wrinkly mug absolutely why is this crashed come on i want to get racing it is sprint crates yes Eri. some people have got to look at this all year round and it's not just me in the mirror mate 95% before the end of the season, just need to grind Weekly League. Well, Weekly League's got some decent rewards in, especially when it's like 80 max for Stappen and all that kind of jazz. So if we can keep that, you can be on for some good good percentages. Yeah, Series, series 12, Jetto. Late rush, use all them flag boosts. <laughs> Hamilton's good for the event, Jartman. Kevin, absolutely not. Um... Porsche, yes, we wish we could get decent rewards from the pit pass, but every single person in this stream knows that um, that is a very touchy subject out in the F1 Clash world right now. Yes, not many people happy, as you would have probably seen the video that we did. Uh, that is pretty much why. See, opening Albon. I know that's everyone's excitement, especially when we start the new season. Two times 95% for Andrew, fair play. Nice work. A few good crates. Yeah, I mean, you, you'll get you'll get your uh, 95%. Carlo, welcome. Um, DME, so it's basically just zero spend accounts. So it's showing players what you can do if you don't spend a penny on this game. So we're about to get... I mean, we'll probably end up double stacking, but you only need about 20 points in this race. But yeah, just to show you what, what can be done. David, welcome. We're all good. Hope you are too. After a... Carlo's here as well, and Carlo, I'm sorry, but I'm going to get it out of the way already. After Aston Villa's amazing win at the weekend against Arsenal, we're very good. And I won't mention any more, Carlo, I promise. Or maybe I will. Calling on 77.9%. Is it possible to reach 90, Pierre? Pierre, have you unlocked Series 12? If you haven't unlocked Series 12, then potentially you can still increase. Yeah, that's, that's it, Dan. Cue your crates, coin boosters, and some legendary crates. Depends what you, depends which way you look at it. Oh, no, Joe. No way, really. That is... Um, that's painful. <laughs> look, I don't play at, uh, NASCAR for a while, but that sounds very... <laughs> sounds very hutch-like. <laughs> um... Indeed, indeed. Oh, Carlo's not a gunner. I thought you were, Carlo. <laughs> or you're not tonight. Callum, welcome. Hope you're doing well, Callum. Nice to see you here. Spurs win a trophy or Alonso retires. I think Alonso is going to retire, mate, first. <laughs> and he's just signed an extension. <laughs> That's how much faith I've got. Jeez, sounds a bit of a bit of a NASCAR mess, Jetto. That's what that sounds like. Uh, we're not scoring great points. I haven't really focused up too much in this race, but P12 and P22 at the moment. Carlos Man United, fair play. I mean, not fair play. Ugh. But <laughs> there you go. Someone's got to. Level for Hamilton. Um, when he's good, it depends what else you have. Hamilton might not be good at all, depending on if you've got like Max Verstappen, Max Jarman. That's the only difference. Yeah, Dan, I'm not in it anyway. I quit probably a month before you and didn't play it. Matchmaking definitely should be fixed, definitely should be reduced. But how much? I don't know. Uh, Pierre, exactly. The only thing you do is if you move up now, GPs get tougher, but you've only got two weeks to go. So try and get basically increased and try and upgrade as much as you can to try and help that percentage. That is probably the best thing to do. Level four, Jartman's good if you've not got him at another level. Well, we P8 and P14. Uh, 
Right. Let's go. See what we got. See what we got. We've got a late push for some points. Maybe, hopefully, it should be enough for a sprint to create. Uh, yeah, a lot of people complaining about the NASCAR update, which is interesting. Uh, hopefully, they do pick matchmaking next season. I mean, they could, they could lower the matchmaking. The question is how much they lower it by, which means that you might never face a real player again. Ah. I mean, yeah, it's difficult. I guess the question to players is, would you rather face bots all the time and get lower players, lower matchmaking, or do you want to keep that element in there? Uh, Jetto, I got this last week. I think it is still there. I think it is still in there. This should be a sprint crate. I took, my, took it off the gas. Hey, mom, baby. Lower matches and allow, allow a friend to race has been there for absolutely ages and they've never done anything with it. But then, comments wise, get down in the chat. I want to see what you think we're going to get then from this first sprint crate of the day. Let me know in the comments. Albon, remember the deal. No, Obi, it's not happening. See what we can get. Obi's gone for the worst ones. Happy 8K, yes. For anybody who's watching, I've completely forgot, DME. We hit 8,000 subscribers. 8,000 subscribers on the channel. That is beautiful. Hey, Dan, I was texting. That's my excuse. Yeah, massive, massive. And I'm loving every minute of it. I mean, it's been a pretty insane couple of years but uh yeah 8000 is we've got the f1 clash videos we've got the f1 manager videos we've got a bit of everything on the go and uh yeah absolutely love it guma Sanson, welcome just in time for a sprint crate i will take anything if it is an upgrade on what we had before question is what is it going to be 12 Carlos Sainz is going to be good. Six Russell brings us a little six closer to the next level. For Ocon. And then because, congratulations in Spanish, I like it. We've got our sounds working. We need upgrades. If it's not anything good, I will take an upgrade and I'll watch the chat to see what happens. But we, yeah, we need something good or at least an upgrade if it doesn't. Dan says, there you go. Not great, but good. It's an upgrade, Porsche says. Everyone's saying good. This could be really good. It's an upgrade. Maybe not good, but an upgrade. Of course, it's the Chinese GP. Okay. Okay, I understand. Oh, <laughs> Zhou Guan Yu coming in at the back post. A little bit like Leon Bailey against Arsenal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, let's close this down. We'll get Mr. Zhou Guan Yu upgraded. Let's load that back. Oh, Obi's not happy with that. Hey, Twiggy, we'll take it. It's an upgrade. That's the main thing. 
So 93.9% we are on. So this will go to 93.92, I believe, once we upgrade. Sadly, I mean, it's going to be better than Hamilton. Oh, 160 collection points, please. We'll have that. We will have that indeed. Do Guan Yu. Not his race start's not great. What's our next milestone that we're going to get? Next milestone is coins. Pathetic. <laughs> we don't want that. So. Let's see. Let's open these up. Two Logan Sargent, as always. And two Lewis Hamilton. And then... Yes, free to play joke. James, welcome. We didn't stream yesterday in the end because it was a uh, busy time. But, um, yeah, we're back today. Warden, an extra one, that's good. And what do we got then? So, we should go up to 93.91. We didn't even go up 0 0.02 in the end. We went up by 0 0.01. We're never going to get to 95%, are we? Surely. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's painful. We've got no upgrades to do as well. Oh. I mean, we've got double coins. No one's used their coins too much yet, by the look of it. Let's open this crate. Time to do F1 Manager. No, you haven't moved. Yeah, exactly, Porsche. We, we're like halfway to everything on the commons and res. Warden's getting a little bit closer. But, yeah, we've we got to try. We've got to try. We'll keep... We'll just open some slots. I, I'm not bothered about books on this account. So let's just open it up. Anything extra is a bonus. 38 of the Lonzo. Thunderclap. And Avalanche. So... Let's go back into it. We've got to get some good. Like, that was good. That was an upgrade. Um, who we got this week? It is Lewis Hamilton and who is the other driver? Kevin Magnussen. So, not really what we need. Hamilton is not going to upgrade from sprints alone. So, the question will be is can we get points? Onyx. Oh, so Onyx is boosted as well. I always forget. But yeah, Dan, exactly. Bad one. I'm not going to try and use boosts in this one. I'm going to try and save some boosts. Um, I'm going to run a free, 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 and a four, five, five, four, probably. Good luck, James, in yours. But let's see. I mean, we've got to keep pushing. And I think for anybody who's in this game at the moment who still continues to play F1 Clash late in this season, you've got to still keep pushing. That's going to be the main thing because you just don't know what's going to happen with results at the end of this season. Because bad matchmaking, disconnects, could always provide you with your best result. So you just got to hang in there. As frustrating as it can be. But P8 for Verstappen. No boosts being used in Brazil. Hopefully we get a nice easy group. But Hamilton's going to be a lot stronger at the end of this race. 40 plus points is the target if we're not using boosts. Hamilton, yeah, so we've got the legends coming, haven't we? And I'm pretty sure I read it as if the legends are going to be boosted as well 10%. So that means Prost is going to be ridiculous. But I don't know if I've read that wrong. Somebody might be able to confirm if I have read it wrong or not. But I do believe it said legendary drivers are boosted as well. But that could be me. I don't know if anyone might have asked that question already. Suzuka by a bottom zero tyres. <laughs> we don't expect anything other than that now, damn. Apparently legends boosted too. So really, surely it's only Prost. I mean, what is it? What percentage have they said, Andrew? Have they said it's going to be 10%, 5%, 20%? FRM, welcome. Welcome along. We've got Hamilton currently in P8. Moving up. 
10%. So Prost is going to be 90 what? 90 tyre management? Prost just got even stronger then, basically. No Monza or Imola. We've got it this week, though. That's the only problem. You've got to get through this week's tracks first. So that's going to be the final GP of the season. Or there'll be one more, actually, one more after. And then we are in. I mean, this has got three. So we've got three GPs left, which includes this one. So two more after this one. And then it all resets. All restarts. The players gang, welcome. Shanghai could be interesting next year. Yeah, F1 Clash putting that back in should be fun. We'll see what happens. You could get some great overtaking in China. It's actually got corners to overtake too. Hopefully some of you, when we, uh, in that first week of the new F1 Clash season, we're going to be live three, four, even five times on the evenings as we hit when it launches. So we've got P5, P4, getting through the field nicely. Hamilton, P, you've got Kevin. Kevin! 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 Come on then, let's get past him. Into P7. Yeah, safety cars still very high at the moment. Very strong chances of safety cars out there. That is one thing that hasn't changed at the moment. Release date, no. So no release date has been officially set or officially announced. Uh, last few years, it's been around the 7th and the 8th of May, as Dan says. So expect it to be something similar. What boost in the remaining GPs? Um, so we've got Timeless Boost, which is for the Legends, which nobody knows what it is at the moment. Uh, and I don't know what is the last one. Could be interesting. That timeless boost, it's got to be something to do with pit time. You would think, being timeless. That would be my guess. As Verstappen cannot get through. So we're going to get some decent enough points here. It'd be even better if we can get past George Russell. But we can't. How many points are we on at the moment? I would have liked more than 37, if I'm honest. Can we get a bit more than that? Up to 38. Still can't overtake, though. These are on soft tyres, Russell. But we'll take that. Hopefully, we've got a nice, easy group. Otherwise, we'll be sticking out the boosts again in jewels as we take P4 and P8 without boosts. Yeah, so Jetto, last year, we had the bank holiday weekend and they actually released the game on, like, the Monday or the Tuesday, I think it was, which I didn't think they would do. Uh, Jartman, it's on F1 Clash socials where it is announced. Right, OK, I think we're OK. That guy's got 18 points. But, yeah, it's, it's usually around that. It's going to be around the second week of May. Probably, yeah, Monday, Tuesday. Because what I was surprised at was when they released the game last time, I didn't think they would release it uh, through the bank holiday. And also you had the bank holiday weekend and then they dropped it live on the Monday, which I didn't think was going to be the case. Week of the 6th to like the 9th of May. Yeah, Joe, that's what I'd expect then. Uh, tricky track, this one. Have we got any little standard? Yeah, instinct. Let's use a bit of instinct on here. It's only a UK bank holiday. Yes, Joe, you're right. Um, Jartman, it's a legendary event after this one. Uh, Movember's a good boost. Legio needs to look at. Movember, I love Movember. He says it's a very good boost. Yeah, I don't have many on this account, but... Hungary, first corner look is what we need. 
not too bad. P5 for Verstappen and P11 for Hamilton. That's going to get even better. We've got a Kawhi double boosted war rival as well. But we are in at the moment as we cut back down P4 and P9. Both of us at Hungary. Uh, this rival's going to get ahead, but they're on the soft. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to take the inside line again. How about that for a move? Yeah, Budapest is a nightmare. It's very buggy, a bit like Monza. But at the moment, it's okay. I did go from, like, Mexico is very sim similar as well. You can go from the front to the back at Mexico quite easy. As Hamilton goes round the outside. P3 and P6 then. We could look Mr. Rival. Good point, Porsche. There you go. We get it in there. Hey, we get the good luck back. <laughs> but we've got a few cars ahead of us. This would be good, just using the instinct boost if we can make our way through. Evening, Keith. Welcome. Uh, James, probably not. I wouldn't think so. You'd probably want a better one. But yeah, uh, evening, Keith. Hope you're doing well. We have just missed a sprint crate, Keith. Uh, we got 20 Zhou Guan Yu, which sounds pretty poor, but it helped us upgrade, which was good. The problem is, we've just so far off that 95%. Yeah, ERS probably okay, James, yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to end up double stacking here as well. I completely messed this up. I might go around one more time. With Hamilton. It's going to be slow, but it's going to be better than losing eight seconds in a pit stop. So we'll keep him on conserve. No, that's fair, James. James, I always take penalties on F1 manager if I have a bad qualifying. If I have a bad qualifying, then I'll take a penalty and limit the damage later on. So we're stepping into P7. We've got Hamilton just conserving all the way around at the moment. <laughs> I like it, Dan. So Hamilton is going to get round. And he'll come into the pit then. Let's see. Let's see. P5 for Hamilton. P4 for Verstappen. P3, P5. Can we get any higher? Oh, P2. We'll take that one. Yeah, James, always do it. Always do it that way. Because you always have to take a penalty always through the season. No, that's fair enough, Keith. That's fair enough. You won't be the only one at that point, that is for sure. So, yeah, don't blame me on that. But what we got? P2, rival's still pushing. Going to be hard to hold back that car. We're going to just hold off, I think, with the boosts at the moment. And then we'll hit hard on the last few corners with Hamilton, I feel. Let's try and just close that gap here. Rival's saving their power unit a little bit as well. And he is. We've pushed it. We've gone. We've pushed. Can we keep hold of it? Oh, I think we might. I think we might. Yeah, we'll take P2, P4. That's, that'll do. We'll absolutely take them points to start off. 44 points at Hungary using basic boosts. It's always good when you use basic boosts and you come out with some good points. It was a good race by the rival as well. But that's good for us. Uh, number 8.7 million. Are we in a comfortable group? Yes, we are. 82. So we don't, don't necessarily have to use the big boosts. We could save some boosts now that we are about 70-something points ahead. Because we can still score 35 to 40 points, no problem, unless we get a bad matchup like this one. Or we go off the Spa. 
probably be Spa now have said that. Austria. Austria is a decent chance for points. Series 12 is a little bit tougher. But let's see what we can do in the rain in qualifying. In the rain. And where are we going to qualify? 13th and 16th. Uh, softer mediums. Have we got any free boosts that we can stick on? Nothing really with race start anymore. I mean, I've got 574 hex. I might start hexing it. Might start hexing around the track. The new goat boost, we never know. But let's see. Let's see what we got. P13, P16. No race start, so that's going to be slower off the line and slower for the first lap. But we made up ground, P11 and P12. Yeah, James, it does. Unless it's wet, then it's not too bad. Right, got to be 40. What are we going to target? 42 points, I reckon. Austria's got some good chance of points. 42 with the hex boost. Ryan, welcome along. Hope you're doing good, Ryan. Hope you are well. As we are into P6 and P5. So Verstappen started really strongly. Let's see what we got. P5, P10. See if they left anything in. They might have done, Keith. You never know. Everyone uses the same sort of boost. So it wouldn't put it past me that one day Hutch just randomly put one of the worst boosts on the game Make it the most powerful and nobody knows about it. You just never know. It wouldn't. I just would not put it past at all. Uh, let's not service here. And let's pit. Legacy one, welcome along. Legacy, hope you're doing good. Corn stop soft to hard, potentially. For you, James, yes. Thoughts on limited wetness on track, potentially for Inters. I think I'll... I mean, I spoke to the creators when I was at Hutch about intermediate tyres. Uh, they actually asked me the question on what would we think about intermediate tyres. I think it's not the worst idea in the world. However, I just think it complicates it a little bit too much. If you've got wet, inters, hards, medium, softs, yeah, how, how are you ever going to know that the weather will stabilise? I mean, do we trust them to create such boundary or limitations? I don't know. But it's one that they've looked, they looked into, but they, we did speak about it when we were there. I've got the video footage somewhere. I'd have to dig it out because it's, uh, it is interesting. Um. Start of the season, self-control. Yes, self-control was a beast at the start of the season. It was, uh, everyone was using it. I mean, I remember when they launched this season and I did a video on it pretty quickly, but any boost that you used, regardless of what it was, it gave you a perfect race start and you would just fly through the pack. It was like so overpowered beyond belief. And then obviously they fixed that within what a week or so and then it all went back to normal <laughs> good luck james crease yeah so that's what i mean joe so what you're going to get is if it's what we get is 22 percent rain is the cutoff from dry to wet in theory that is dry to inters if you went to the real f1 world but if that keeps going up and up and up and up you're going to have to come back into wet but if it goes up to 22 and stops and then starts coming back down, I mean, yeah, it's what they do. As we've got a safety car for Checo Perez. Oh, Checo is a legend. Absolute, Absolute animal. Checo has left us with a sprint to the line against hard tyre drivers. We got a chance here of 47 points. Tim Rich, welcome. Welcome, Tim. Tim, believe you got top 10 in champs at the weekend from what I'm seeing. So as long as I've seen that correct, then buzzing for you. Well done. Hopefully I did. I think I'm sure I've seen that correctly. Um, 
Well, yeah, I think exactly as Dan says, we've got bigger things in the game that we want them to fix first. If they can fix them, I mean, even put a good pit pass in would be beneficial. Softs at Monaco at 100% wet are as quick as using wets. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Kimo, we are all good. How are you doing? Any more brute force, Kimo? Has any of them nurtured them way out? So we're going to have a one lap sprint here. We are P5 and P6. One lap sprint to the line. How many points can we get? We've overtook before the line. And we're up to P3. So P3 and P5. Soundboard fixed. Yes, I don't know how, Dan. And everyone, Norris has broken down. But we've got past him. But yeah, congrats, Tim. Buzzing for you. You've worked hard from that from early on in the season. When I know you was uh, you was high flags, so yeah, it's a solid work to turn that around. P1, P2, 47 points. And as well, I am going to record and release a video, but I will be doing a recruitment video probably Thursday. So if anybody is watching and wants to join our teams, then by all means, that'll be something that might be of interest to you. Just been so busy to take a little break at the game to start. Yeah, Kimo, that's absolutely no no issues with that one whatsoever. Enjoy. Enjoy it before you get back on it in literally around two weeks' time. This time in probably two weeks, we will all be starting our F1 Clash seasons again. All that hard work of a year, a year, is about... To go again. Try champion first time, last GP, got 73 in finals, roughly 1297 team score. Is it worth me trying champion at that? Um yeah, it depends on and got 73 in finals. Do you mean 73 as total, Ryan? Yeah, Dan, we won't mention uh some of that stuff at the minute. It's they they're so slow at the back of the grid. Uh, medium and hard. Let's do a one stop. <laughs> Jetto, don't lie. You ain't gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, Mark. That's what we'd hope. If we can obviously help you get top ten, by all means, we will try. Seventy. Sorry, yes. Place seventy three. If you can place, then I wouldn't say that is bad as long as you can get to the final round and you can pick up some rewards then that is the main part of it but yeah it, 73 isn't too bad global brand now just europe just just everywhere joe absolutely everywhere we will take players from all over the world i think we already have i think tim's from and correct me where you're from tim but i think tim's from the states or that way i'm sure I might be absolutely wrong and made things up as we go. Two hundred points. It's not too bad, Ryan. Let us know your flag count as well, Ryan. But definitely next season, I don't want to see unless your aim is to go to North Carolina. Got you, Tim. I did think so. Um, nobody go max flags. If you're watching this video next season, do not rush up to Series Twelve. Because you will only suffer if you don't play and don't grind hard. Trust me. It's been the same for three years. Teams, uh, yeah, Joe, there's quite a lot of European team names, but not so much on the uh, America, sort of South America regions. But yeah, wherever you place, remember, it's double rewards as well. So as long as you get through to your final rounds, that's going to be the main part. If you can get through to final round, that's all you need. Try your luck. There'll be grouping changes, Jetto. I do not believe there will be any changes. I do believe that it will be the same grouping flag system that is currently in the game at the moment. It's firmly what I believe. Don't know anything, so don't think that I'm telling you that's how it is, but... From my indications, from what I've seen on the general F1 Clash Discord, 
I can't see them working on a change to GP groupings. Yeah, I think a lot of people are safe. If you're watching this, definitely don't rush through. A lot of people have them issues. They race through to Series 12. Everybody else races through to Series 12. It gets suddenly absolutely packed up there. And then it's a case of, yeah, it's ridiculously hard to overcome. So definitely stay low. I mean, look at this account. In the early season, on this free-to-play account, so bearing in mind it has spent $0, zero pounds, Probably, I didn't race for the first four or five weeks. After that, I started my account. I raced at the low flag groups for a while. And I managed a P4 in Champions GP on this account. Obviously, when it gets towards December and they start to introduce the bigger assets, I started to drop backwards. That is standard. That's how it happens. But in the early stages where people can only get good rewards by crates in GP or by buying it through the shop, you have a massive chance as a free-to-play player to get a good result. And that is why I've got a top 10 champions GP medal on this account. And I've got a P1 contenders because don't go to Series 12 and try and get P1 contender because that is probably harder than getting a champs P1 in series 12 wouldn't be surprised if you got a q medal in contender with about 370 points would not surprise me but i would say for anybody in here next season if you are not confident of getting a p1 champion medal go for a p1 contender medal very early that would be my tip big tip because then you're doing the season challenges, the second best one. Good evening, Peter. Welcome. As Verstappen's about to lose third. Yeah, we'll get a point back of Ocon, though. P3 and champion with my only pit pass. That's good, Joe. That's good. Exactly, uh, Ryan. So it basically means only go up to, let's say, Series 7, Series 8. And then when you get to Series 7, 0, 8, make sure you don't race any higher. Never unlock Series 9 and just keep racing in Series 8. That will mean that you'll stay in a lower flag group. Lower flags means easier GP groupings. What it does mean is you get paired with people who spend a lot of money. That's the difference. Dan, look after yourself. Appreciate you hanging out. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get more brute force, Dan. But yeah, Ryan, honestly, I will do a um, I will do a hints and tips video coming up in the next. I'll probably release it next week. I want to do it just before the season starts. Uh, I imagine Hutch will release new new changes in the season two. I like it, Kimo. Hopefully, Kimo, no more brute force. Hopefully, no more for you. Going to use double Kawhi here. Absolutely, Ryan, absolutely. That is the same for anybody as well. If anybody wants to join our teams or you're, let's say, a leader of a team, you can bring your team over to our community. By all means, absolutely whichever way you want to go we just want to build one of the best communities we can build simple as that but yeah there's a lot of big tips and you've definitely got to stay tuned to this channel because we will uh we'll bring you them tips straight away we'll give you your advice for the new season what to spend your cc points on and why watch anyone else when you can get it here There you go, Joe. I mean, I mean, that's not a bad plan that you've got set up for you. When you know you can't compete, just get bored and quit. 
I'm going to wait until about six months through the season and jetto has got six accounts this time and he's got an uplift on his credit card. <laughs> he's going to have a bit of everything. <laughs> I can see it, Jetto. We, we all know what you like. What are we? P11, P14. Yeah, it's going to be a good... Hopefully, hopefully Hutch have got some good changes on the way. Uh, I'm sure they've... What did they put in last year? They put in power unit change last year. So could they do the same? What what would they do the same? Would they? I don't think they'll remove power unit. I mean, what's pretty rubbish out there? Servicing's been in the game for a while. That's pretty rubbish. Could change that. I don't think they can change much else, though. Only in the race they can really change. Do they go... I mean, they've tested speed with Vegas which could indicate they're going to do or try and still put in more speed track cornering tracks. I mean, Vegas is a test, obviously, for the new season, I would have thought. But it's going to be, yeah, I mean, let's see what they release. I'm sure Sam or Discord, YouTube, they'll give us the hints and the teasers to what's coming. I mean, we should get our parts. I think it's around... A week before the start of the season, they start to drop the levels like Hamilton with all the stats. Everything like that will be back out. So, I mean, surely surely it can't be massively far off this season. I mean, Danny Rick should be in the game. That should be at least one guaranteed change. DRS function. Well, that's it. I mean, I am all for putting a Mario Kart speed boost on the track. <laughs> and as you go down the straight you hit it and you go fast a bit like dead fast was last season but I just don't know what else they can do safety cars in there could they do a red flag could they put red flags in after a bad crash and you have to line back up on the grid I mean is that too complicated yeah exactly Keith. I don't think they're going to they're not going to want all that work to change all the boosts again. They're just not, are they? Mobile Mario Kart. They, I mean, what would be better for everyone watching now, right? You're against a max bot. That max bot is 1-2. You're 3-4. You can't catch them. And you just throw a blue shell at them. Brilliant. Um... Crash Cam Porsche, I did actually recommend this to Hutch because obviously they've built it already. They've got it on NASCAR. But I think they should put the Crash Cam in F1. I think it'll be great to see the type of crash. For those of you who are watching last week, we watched a brilliant crash with Sergio Perez at Abu Dhabi. Um, can I get in the pits? I mean, we're going to try. Oh, no, it's raining in 20 seconds. Just messed up points. <laughs> what an idiot. No, oh, what did I do that for? I thought I was being uh thought I was being clever. I wasn't. I'm gonna run out of tires as well, I think. I was pushing too hard. Well we we are coming through the field. We are gonna run out of tires. Ignore that race. Never happened. Put in banana. <laughs> Yeah, why not put it in real life as well? Just put a, get a steward out there, whack some oil, oil on the track, Matt Verstappen goes off, dry it up by the time everyone else catches up. It'll be cleared. Now we got back to P13. It's not the end of the world. Frenchie, welcome. Hope you're well. We are on our way to our second sprint crate at the moment after getting Zhou Guan Yu in the first crate and let's see what we're on so far 203 so don't really have to use any boost at this stage we're well ahead if we get 40 points a race it's going to be about four races nice work James that's bad welcome back FRM I mean DRS could work I don't see I get why you're saying it as well because speed is the issue so if speed is the issue, why not put some speed back in the game? Because let's all be honest, we all know that speed stuck. Absolutely diabolical, isn't it? No, 
Nathan, welcome as well. So, Suzuka, this is a tricky track without boosts as well. But yeah, we'll be live that first first couple of days, maybe first three or four days, live every night. I think last time we did that last year, we had over 100 viewers at one point, and I'm hoping this year we can absolutely smash that out the park. Uh, Keith, never. <laughs> I think you can serve when you're not uh, up against someone. If you're running in clean air, something like that, as uh, the old annoying Kevin goes past us. Two sprint crates, FRM, what did he get? Frenchie likes the haircut. We'll take that, Frenchie. Gone bold at the sides, look. Absolutely disappeared it on the sides. But on the top, off the top, we, we're still keeping no boldness yet. We're all good. At the moment. Oh, not another safety car. Not another one. Ah, P10, P16. I don't even think it's worth pitting. Hold will come. <laughs> Remember watching you and Sotoris and grinding myself for sprints to guys that could have been the best moments of the season. Could have been. I always like doing the sprints. I don't really get time to be able to do the GP ones um, on like a Tuesday, Wednesday. But, or on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But I just enjoy doing the sprints if I can. Uh, there's no point in me pitting here. Because, I mean, I am 16th for Hamilton. But we'll let them conserve round. And this safety car is going to pick us up pretty quickly. Hopefully we've got some soft tyre runners out there. And there is a couple of them. Which will struggle. We've got rain coming in as well, as you can see. There. It's good. This little screen comes in handy sometimes. I should use it more. I should be like a weatherman. So we've got a cloud at 15 degrees at Japan with a 0% chance of rain. But there is, from the east, rain coming in from Germany, spreading across the Atlantic with a... It's going to arrive for 30 seconds. Yeah, I was thinking that, Jetto. I was thinking, but that's like four and a half laps. So I thought, it's a bit too much. So we're going to uh, we're going to conserve round. I could pit now, to be honest. I want to see what that rain does, though. But these these soft tyres should pit now with the mediums the next lap. I don't think the softs will carry on. Yeah, so soft pit. The bot is out of it, but it's the question is how many points we can get. We've got Kevin in front of us. But we can't really do another lap. I want to push for Stappen. And I'll come back on mediums. Can we, we could push Hamilton. As we push him, Gasly gets past us. Reigns, minute of 44. <laughs> yeah, Julian, it's, it's raining now in England. So Silverstone is always a, a worthwhile rain setting. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to pit. It's going to come too early, the pit stop. And we'll carry on round. Lap five, though. Minute and 20. Dry until the end. Last lap, a bit of rain. Yeah, that's what I was trying to work out. You got around 30 seconds a lap. So you probably got half a lap of rain incoming. But we'll try and push because we get P3. Should be a lot of hard tyres out there. And there is. But hopefully we can get through and we go backwards. How do we go backwards? Mediums versus hard. I will never know. P19. Hamilton going for the softs. In at P3. Yeah, James, they don't know what they're on about. 40 seconds. So it's about a lap and a half it's going to be. As Verstappen hits P17. Hamilton comes out P11. And we've got no more pit stops, so everyone's out there. We're just slacking quite a bit behind. Norris in front. Norris is uh, 
Nice as a beast sometimes in some of these duels. He's now in P9 as we try and get past Alonso. Yeah, we're going to push it. We're not going to pit for wets, though. It's not heavy rain. All the AI will stay out. We haven't got the power unit either, to be fair. So we'll come out the corner, conserve down the straight. Don't think we're going to catch anybody else. But we have got main man Kevin ahead of us. Kalunjis, welcome. Appreciate the sub. Don't know why it didn't come up. I have got sub alerts on, but appreciate it. I don't get to see many subs, actually. That's, um, does it work? Yeah, it should work. But appreciate it anyway, mate. Um, Kalunjis, it's going to reset for the new season anyway, so it doesn't really matter where you are. It will reset completely. Come on, Hamilton. Oh. Where's he going to get? P, uh, we'll take it. It's all right. We'll take that. 33 points. Not amazing. But whilst we've got no competition in the sprint group, we will obviously save the good stuff. <laughs> Look. Oh, I don't know what they did there, Joe. He was well out the back. Let's see what we got. Yeah, still clear. 236 over 350. Obviously, the only problem we get is that when we don't use boosts, we don't get the 47, so we're probably actually having to use an extra race. <laughs> David, don't. It doesn't work. <laughs> I it should work on here, though. Som I noticed it hasn't. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. Let me try and have a look. Subscribers is on. Yeah, no idea. No idea. Uh, Imola again. Two minutes and then rain. Hard. See what we can do on this one. Yes, Frenchy. Hit the 8K today. So, big day today. Use ballast. I don't think I've got any more left, Frenchy. But yeah, as Porsche says, we'll all be entering Series 1 and going again. Nathan, welcome. So we've got to aim for the wet stuff here. Minute and 50. It's about 26, 27 seconds a lap. So, should be right on when we pit. It's about two minutes Yes, good good work, Porsche. We're going to end up double stacking, but it's probably quicker. There you go. Get it back. So, P11. Kevin's always in the way. Always. Hanging with the softs. Yeah, we are going to be pretty slow, but what we're doing is trying to get through to the wet weather, which is in a minute's time, which should be around the time we pit. Will we... I mean, we can't get past Kevin, though, at the moment. What's Kevin on? Kevin's on softs. Try the Stappen. You know, because he might be a bit better than Hamilton. Nearly. Nearly was. Nearly showed it. Still just... We're so slow on the hards. Yeah, Keith, exactly. That's the most fun part. Back of the grid. Week two, champion GP. With about 500 team score. It's going to be epic. So it's actually the most fun of the season. Yeah, friend, Spa's tough. Tough track, Spa. Um, Joe, I think this is my, so I did the whole of last season. I think this is my second season. I played it before, but yeah, this would be my second season doing it, I believe. So everybody round here should go for wet tyres, and they do. Yes, Nathan, that's good work. 65%, got to keep going, see if you can squeak out any more. Uh, there is some cars going out on mediums. 
medium and We've got another safety car. I mean, it's adrenaline killing is the old safety car. There's a few cars out there on medium and softs. Oh, that could be interesting. P2 and to P9, pretty much. P11. There will be the odd pit stop, so that'll actually work out. Uh, Jetta, I think it's about... Maybe about four. Well, Vegas is terrible, Frenchy. You need a free medium, free medium around there. But yeah, this is how you... Uh, this is how you lose sprint races by safety cars. <laughs> I like it, James. But yeah, P9, P14. Safety cars, there's a big gap in the middle. Why is that gap formed? Raining safety cars. I think that must be our like fourth safety car. Yeah, no worries, Jetto, no problem. No problem. I think we're on about 2.30. And at the moment, we're going to make that to 2.57. But hopefully we'll get some more points as we get going, because there's a lot of dry tyres out there. How have we just lost a plate? How are we losing places on the last corner? <laughs> I don't get it sometimes, Hutch. Yeah, it is still fast on some tracks, David. Absolutely. Rivals pushing. There's a Ferrari going very slow. And then we don't get ahead of them. Just any points is a bonus. And then the rival gets past us with their SAR boost. So P8 and P9. And up to P7. Got Norris ahead. Norris don't like the wet. Look at that. Wrong tyre choice again by Norris. He drops back. Oh, straight through the middle to P5. Can we get Leclerc? Last corner dive, but I feel like this rival's about to get past us. Maybe not. Can we get past them, though? No, we can't, but a P5 and P7. And a component failure. But that's all right for us. 38, was it, in the end? Looked a lot better from where he was originally. Yes, yeah, so that was a good little race. And we didn't use any boost as well. 274, so probably... What's that? 76 points. So, two races. Maybe without boost. No worries, Twiggy. Look after yourself. Have a good one. Got one point away of P1 in Series 12. 349. <laughs> Another race eternal. Imagine if that's a safety car as well. Yeah, safety car Vegas is terrible. <laughs> to even just racing it is bad. <laughs> yeah. And pitting past the safety car Porsche when the safety car has been out for the whole time and then to pit is equally very slow. Abu Dhabi then. We're just going to one stop it. Medium mediums. Should be able to manage this through. Maybe medium hards. So, P10 and P14. Hopefully, I mean, the problem is Max Verstappen gets an average start. And he struggles. He goes backwards. You can see Hamilton with that better race start coming through. Eventually. And they're right beside each other. Shouldn't be the case, but they are. See if we can get past Stroll. Kevin in the way again. Yeah, Demir, hards are not too bad. I try and get a nice four medium in 
for speed. Never raced at Vegas. Maybe it's not in your series, Nathan. Depends what series you're in. But we need to try and create a gap. We've got Kevin ahead. Can we get past Kevin? Yes, we can. Can we get past Lando? So we're creating a good gap. P14 for Verstappen. So we just got to watch tyres because we've got about 5% left. So that frit the hell out of me. That one worked. Fernando Flores with the subscribe. They jumped out of my skin. Yeah, Demi, I think I could run hard if I wanted to use the power unit. Just depends how many points I want to get. So sub subscribing does work. Welcome along. Two Nathans. Yeah, Nathan and Nathan both in the chat. So, yeah, I could run. I might use hards just for the power unit. But it depends what everyone else is going. We're on 28%. Whereas most people, there's quite a few people pitting. I might go Hamilton on mediums, Verstappen on hards. But he's right, pretty slow out front. What are they on? Medium tyres. Getting held up quite a bit as well. Fernando <laughs> Torres. <laughs> it's the wish.com version, Mark. <laughs> now we're going backwards. Now we're going to double stack. Why is Hamilton suddenly just gone backwards as it's pit time? Uh, yes, they are, Joe. Yes. Oh, double stacking chaos. Same with car parts. So when Onyx is boosted, Cloud Raw boosted, it's exactly the same. So P20 after a terrible pit stop, where the game sent Hamilton backwards as it was time for pit. CC points, see Snarky. I personally think at the start of the season, what I'm going to recommend is basically just leveling up some parts you've got. If you need like two parts or like two cards and you can't get it to the next level by the time GP comes and you think it's good enough to make a difference, I'd probably spend it through the CC points. Depends how strong they make the drivers. That is the one thing I'd say. Because remember, even if you buy Max Verstappen, you're not going to be able to level him up. So quite quickly, a decent level common or rare will probably overtake him. Evening, Gary. Hope you're well, mate. Verstappen now back into P14. Kevin in the way again. Yeah, that's also what it's good for, as Jetto says. You can use it to your advantage if it's available. You can buy it in the shop, but you can also use it on a boosted driver to try and get. I mean, you've got to remember, when at the start of the season, when nobody spent loads and loads on it because of depending on what's available, it's probably your best chance to get the best reward that you could potentially get. So you've got to just, on a Sunday have a look at your opportunities and maybe the recommendation is leaving racing GP till later on on Sunday so you know what you've got to do. If you race early, somebody else is going to look at it and go, oh, if I buy this card in the shop, I'll beat that guy in P1. Bang, P1. So I would probably wait until later in the day to assess what is out there. 20 piastri. Oh, yeah. Loving life, Gary. As always. We got Zhou Guan Yu out of ours. Oh, Nathan got brute force. Oh, it's not looking good. How long until the crate, Raphael? I think we've got one more race. But, yeah, Porsche Swart as well. If you've unlocked a driver, you can then use CC points to level them up. 
Yeah, see Starkey, so don't go to Series 12 again. <laughs> Obviously, you have to just pick a spot. That is pretty much what you need to do. Uh, I need 41 points, so the chances are I'll be putting a few boosts on this race. Yeah, it does, James, yeah, especially on a sprint weekend. Lewis, Matt, Charles and Lando. Oh, maybe with Monday was the the day to race. Sandvort's usually good for points. Obi can go to series 12. <laughs> you're gonna mean you're gonna be cruel to Obi and let him struggle. Uh no, Ryan, because series three, series four driver will quickly get replaced as you move through the series. What I'd probably do is just say use it on car parts um, to level it up to the next one if you haven't had it for ages. Uh, double copper because we need 41 points. Twenty for Stappen. Oh, there's some good and bad rewards out there. Question is, will we get a decent one or not? We need 41 points though if I want to avoid doing another race. And we're currently up to P10. It's a shame they don't have a boosted driver for sprints because that would help so much. Give a well done. Didn't mean to give a well done, but we'll give a good we'll give a well done. P6 and P11. But it should be a good track to score 41 points at. Go, 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 Gonna says, welcome, Gonna. We are going, going, going. It's a good track, this is. As long as you can surf through the right parts of this circuit, you can usually score pretty good. Remember, we started, what, P14, P18, I think it was, or something? We're already up to P3 and P9. And that's looking to get even better. As we're on the back of Leclerc. But yeah, usually the sweet spot. I mean, it was really tough this season, but Series 11 is a great spot to be if you don't want to spend because you've almost got most of the best drivers, most of the best parts. But this season, it was pretty busy up there. But it just depends really what you want to do. It depends how much you want to spend. It depends how much you want to race. Hey, James, that's your advantage. You can do it. But I'm looking forward to it. I love it when the season restarts and everybody is at the same level. It's just so much more enjoyable. As soon as you have to start scoring 188, 376, 376, the game loses its fun element. That's why I would personally, I'd like them to reduce the 2.5 times boosts down. Not to zero, but at least to like 1.5. Make it harder for everybody to get max scores and make it drag out longer. That would be better. 20 virtue for eternal. Oh, you're filling me with confidence now, boys. You watch me get Albon now. <laughs> Another free for her. Free for her is good. See, you've got Albon already. Everyone in here. Oh, I got this. I'm going to get a terrible one. Jetto knows. This is what Jetto pays his membership for to me, just to see me get bad rewards. I mean, if I don't get 41 points, I'm not going to get any rewards this race. The Claire Pole. Oof. Come on, there's 40, I think. One more point then, until we get our sprint crate. Makes Monday and Tuesday always. 20 times this season. Doesn't surprise me, damn it. We might be about 30 next season. Gary reckons virtue. I'll take the look. P5. Told you it's a good point. It's from the back of the grid as well. Past the dude with Cuppa. Embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we're using it as well, though. Oh, nearly into P4. Well, exactly, Damir. That's why I also want them to reduce the 2.5 boost down. Because it's just too strong. I want to make it. I want to make it hard for everybody. Like I want some of the best players on the game to be scoring 15 points a race. I don't want them racing GP in week two and scoring 38 points a race. Like I just don't want to see it. 
I want to see a long, drawn out, tough champion GP. As we get P3. Don't think we're going to get P2, though. Would have been nice to get P2. We'll take P2. What boost are 2.5? Ryan, all of them. All of them are 2.5. They increased them to them levels that you see them as they are today. <laughs> That'd be interesting, James. But then again, so, down below, whichever way it is, what are we going to get? Well, that, I mean, that's the nice way of putting it, Porsche. <laughs> the biggest spenders are the ones that look the best. Verstappen, let's go, Rafael says. Uh, yeah, French, that's an idea. Now, that was a nothing group. No one was even around in that group. Verstappen, that's what we love. Oh, no, Ryan. No, it's already done. No, they were, put it this way, it was eight cornering, I think, for Copper, and they moved it up to 20. I'm sure it was. Smell some Ocon. That's that's a left field choice, Danny. Left field choice. Uh, no, don't have a clue, Nathan, but I know I've got around 40,000 bucks on my other account. I know that. I had a group of three times zero points. Now, that's easy. You ain't got to use boosts. Onyx, Wildcore... Could all be fairly okay. Any more guesses that we've got? Obi's gone for the standard one. Standard. Let's have a look then. Remember, upgrades. And yes, Jetto, we can let him sleep then if we open this quicker. Any upgrades, please? Sights for Eternal. So 12 Feral Punch. Free Trailblazer. Free. Should up these numbers. Seven. Oh, Gasly. Nearly, nearly got it. And here we go. Here we go. Upgrade, we will take. Good card, we will take. Jetto says no, that must... <laughs> Jetto's the new Obi, so... Oh, I've got some wows. Gary says no. Raphael says awful. Obi's not happy, that means it's amazing. The best driver in the history of F1. You mean we got Nikita Mazepin? Keith says good race start. The GOAT. Who's got a good race start? Yuki Pross <laughs> Oh 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 Fernando Alonso Hello We'll take that all day long That is a solid result from the sprint Let's reload that Only 37 though So another 20 that, That's good I'm sure Gary's meaning Spain for oh, Fernando. That's good. But still, we're at 93.91. So are we just struggling to get... Are we just not going to get there, are we? The 95. It's going up literally 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Maxed on your main account. Raphael, no, I won't be maxing the main account. I'm too far off. Uh, I'll just... I've hardly raced it that much, so uh, nowhere near. I've probably got about four car parts left to do that are all about level seven, and I've got about ten drivers to do which are like level six. So yeah, absolutely no chance of, sadly, sadly doing it. So let's get into our last sprint crate. That's the Fernando. <laughs> I need a word. That's two good rewards then we've had because we've had Zhou Guan Yu, 
which got us a level increase. And we've had Fernando Alonso, which is obviously the Series 12 asset. No Platinum Frame? Nope. Rafael, we stopped doing that. Simple as that. I don't mind. I get the same rewards. I get a few CC points less. Uh, I'll try and show you what I'm at. Uh, da, da, da. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't think you will. Basically, on the main account, uh, let me just load this one up. So we are at 98.74. We are not in Series 12. We are only in Series 11. But yeah, no, no Platinum Frame. I have got left to do on the main account. Level 5 Gasly. Level 7 Perez. Level 6 Russell. Level 7 Stroll. Level 6 Norris. Level 7 Hamilton. Level 6 Leclerc. And level 7 Verstappen. Fingers crossed, Julian. It's actually a good point. Hopefully we can get them again. But yeah, we're just nowhere near. We just haven't raced as much. And you get no benefit from getting 100% anymore. I get a platinum frame and what, 25 CC points, I think it is extra. Just not worth it. So I'm going to look forward to this season coming up instead. As we literally just got Nico Hulkenberg. <laughs> Two month crate time. Well, that's the main thing, but it's the same for 95% and this one. So, yeah, there's not much difference, really. Well, exactly, Jetto. I mean, what, I, what I've said in the past, and it's not like gloating or anything like that. I must have got this season 14, 15 P1s out of champion. And... I have no way near a max account. That just puts it into context of how hard it is. Like I've done the whole, probably from about five, six weeks in, when I started the free-to-play, I haven't maxed one part. And that is without the premium pit pass. It's just ridiculous. You must spend 10 grand to max the account out. Joe, look after yourself. Nathan's good to go. Nathan's gearing up for a big season. <laughs> Obi, it is fun. We need the good rewards. It keeps us going. 89% star key. You can get to 90, though. Well, exactly, Keith. Yeah, if you've got 25% bonus on a level 6 driver... You have got such an advantage over the people who have got max level. Yeah, season 12 earlier, yeah. I'd rather just chill. I mean, I'm in series 11 now. But I'm just not going to go and put in the effort now. Not with two weeks to go. There's no. If there was a big benefit, like six-month crate timer... I'd probably go up to Series 12 a lot earlier, but because they released it and there wasn't, there's was just no point of pushing it. It just wasn't going to get me anywhere. So we've got Verstappen P7, tough track Monza, but we're in P12 at the moment. Hopefully we can get up the field a little bit. Come on, Hamilton, pass Russell. Oh, into P3. And back to P4. There's Alonso coming out, who we just got. Yeah, they definitely... We all know rewards need to be improved. That's one of the big things that keeps us going. If you're going to go and put in the pressure of the weekends and give up time and play real players, you want to be rewarded for it. Asset trading, yeah. One a day, what what advantage does it give us, really, if you put it to 2-3? Kibble Cheeseburger, welcome back. Um, it depends what you want, mate. I mean, personally, I would just stay in a certain series for as long as you're happy with the GP group that you've got. If you want to move up and you want to start unlocking more without spending, then you can start going up. 
but a lot of people, you want to start low series next season, stay there and ride the wave of low flags. You will get matched, though, in your groups with people who spend a lot of money. You can't do a lot about that. But take the P2s, take the P3s all day long. Go for an early contender P1. That's not out of the question. Yeah, you can. You could do cheeseburger, absolutely. Just, just make sure you do grind, though, because by the time you get to Series 12, it'll be pretty tough. Yeah, GP finishes, that's what you just got to work on, Starkey. That's what you can get a lot of percentage from. As we get P2 and P6, 42 points with self-control at Monza. That's pretty good. Not a bad start. 42 points. And we'll have that all day long. Well, we're not even into P1 yet. I mean, we're level on coins now. Have we got an easy group? At the moment, unless they're in a... Oh, I don't want to do that. Unless they're in a race, we're looking pretty good. Toki, Welcome. Toki, you've been missing our amazing rewards. Where have you been? And I'm not actually being sarcastic, Toki. We got Zhou Guan Yu leveled up from the first sprint crate, and we've just got Fernando Alonso. So it's actually okay. <laughs> For once. Uh... Cheeseburger, absolutely yes. We will be doing them videos. We will be getting them out. Drone home welcome as well. Hope you're doing good. We're back at Monza again. No, we are not repeating the races. Hutch are just giving the races again. Let's use the self-control. We've got 875 for what it's worth. And Cheesy Burger's getting everyone hungry in the chat. That's what we like to see. So good and a fast race start. P11, P12. Ah, it's not too bad of a start. Epic Sonoda, Silver Hamilton, and Silver Gasly. Does he, I don't know if he still does videos, Cheeseburger. I'm not. I haven't looked. I haven't seen Gold Sonoda, Epic Sonoda yet from a gold P1 crate. We're going to see in your sprints how all the boost bottles work. Well, in that first week, I'm, I don't know if they'll put sprints available or not. I don't know if they will. But I'm sure we'll find out one way or the other. We'll find out together how good they are. Can we get Stroll? Daddy boy Stroll. Our F1 manager, driver one, through the field. P, oh, not anymore. Back down to P8 we go. Is he not, Raphael? Oh, God, David. Right, P8. P13. Previous season, 10 laps for James. Well, that's frustrating. What track are you at, James? Just need to keep getting the gap. Leclerc's going to... Oh, the hards are so painful around this track sometimes. Spa. Oof. Usually a lot of accidents there. Alpine. I like Brazil. Brazil's the best one for me. As we're going to end up double stacking in this race again, quite clearly. Yeah, Brazil's good. Australia's a good track. Hard to overtake Australia, though. They've ruined it a little bit since the update. Yeah, Cheeseburger, you, you're not the only one on that either. Not the only one. There's many people that are the same as you. Overtake on the straights. Well, I mean, that's where most of the overtaking sometimes come to, comes in modern day F1, down the straights, bit of slipstream. 
That's the only thing. But what have we got out? P6 for Verstappen, and Hamilton's got an absolute nightmare. Too many safety cars. Yeah, that's the problem. Sprints, they should, like, disable safety cars, so it's fair. And, yeah, Australia's got... You can build power nicely at Australia, but it is such a tough track to overtake in that final sector. It's just horrible. We've got Verstappen in P6. He's going to move up to P5. We'll keep pushing around. As we've got Master Fernando Alonso in front of us. We're just trying to hold off Piastri. I never won. James having a mad race. What we got? P6. Hamilton P14. Yeah, power unit. I mean, a lot of the stats don't have a lot of impact, do they? Speed, power unit. Yeah, I mean, Cheeseburger, that makes it very tough for you. I 100% I admit that is tough. Even a hundred team score is different and tough. The P5, P10. <laughs> they, Norris is good for F1 manager. Tyres, he's a great driver. So what we got? P5. Anyone pitting? There is a car in the pits, but they're just coming out. So we're not going to catch them. Any more for Hamilton to overtake? Not really. We've got Sainz ahead of us. If we can gain at all. But I think it's going to be P5, P10. If the sprint group is pretty chilled, then I'll carry on as we are. Or oh, as we do manage to get P9. CF1 manager put it to mobile phones. That, that would be interesting. I'd be on it all the time. I mean, I guess this is F1 manager. <laughs> Let's go. Nice little win. Gee, that's mad, James. Where's this rival finishing? P21 and P22. So, 37 points again. Uh, Starkey, just randomly search for one race your jewel you can't pick who you're in though uh are we good 79 versus 32 that's all good just got to keep going we might stick some good boosts on to accelerate the progress well we've had some decent matchups i think tonight as well we haven't had two bad team score matchups it's actually been okay Australia we go to now. Like we said before, difficult track to overtake at. Uh, but with reloading the sprint, do you mean to get a different group each time, Cheeseburger? Because if you do, uh, yes it does. So what I'm going to do is, no, I'm going to give Street Shark there. And I'm going to use Self Control there. Let's see the difference between these race starts. How good is a perfect race start versus good? 12th and 14th, they were. One gets a good, one gets a perfect. Verstappen's up to P6. And Verstappen's up to P5. Not a lot of difference in a good and a perfect. But I'm going to start using one good boost, I think. Try and just guarantee P1 each race if we can. Going to keep pushing now as we go past Norris. Past Hamilton. Use the end of that race start boost. Hamilton's dropped down or move back up again now. Six drivers out. Spa is chaos. So a good little start then. P6. Howerton could do we getting up to in the next couple of laps if he wants to get towards the podiums. 
We've got the two cars ahead of us. Leclerc, not anymore. Hamilton trying to get past Perez, the rear gunner of Red Bull. Bang on 50% tyres as well. Leclerc winning. James, you're Ferrari, aren't you, right? Oh, Hamilton losing out. Yeah, in a, in a new video, I'll do it, Porsche, as well. Basically, sprint groups is a case of... Um, when you when you watch me open a reward, you watch me open the epic, and then I basically close the game, and it stops it going into a new group. But it's very good, very very nice little trick. Can we get past Ocon? This is a bit where it's so hard to overtake. Come on, yes, finally. Come on, round the outside of Palais. Vamos. <laughs> Not quite. So cut down. Oh. Dortmund are winning. Oh, that's not good for us. That's not good for us. So Verstappen in. Hamilton will be coming in as well. Oh, PSG just scored David and they got 10 men, Barca. Oof. 2 0 Dortmund. Ugh. Ugh. So we're out. P9. P8. We've got Verstappen in P2. So he'll take the lead. He'll take the win, which is exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we needed. But can we get any more? P7 for Hamilton now. Got to keep that going. But if we can get any more places, it would be good. Norris, we could potentially catch four seconds. Finish, hopefully, fourth, Porsche. Pass the champion. <laughs> Fingers crossed, David. Fingers crossed. Depends what Spurs do. Long way to go. What have we got? P5. Should be able to get P4 here. With our self-control. Keep pushing. Should go up the inside. 45 points incoming then. What was it? 44. No, 45. 45. Maybe just the one good boost then we'll use. Spurs are crazy fixtures. And I don't mind Jed and Nathan. It depends on your strategy. Oh, we've got one more lap to do. I thought that was it. <laughs> Maybe we can get Port P2. I thought we was generally done. Maybe we'll just go through here again. See if we can go to the outside this time. Beautiful race. Beautiful. I race like this is uh, yeah, incredibly satisfying. Oh yeah, it is. Verstappen P1, safety car GP. Jeddah, that's it. Jeddah, Miami. Jeddah, Miami, Spa, Vegas. Definitely up there with the worst places to get a safety car. You know what that was? That was a smooth operator. Smooth operation. Oh yeah, points in the bag. 47, that accelerates the progress a little bit. Puts us on 126 in our last spring crate. So that's probably, so that's 100, 126, 224 points left. That's quite a lot. That is potentially 224 divided by around 40, which equals about six races. If we can get more, though, beneficial. Baku. We'll probably just use a good boost on driver one, self-control driver two. 
especially Verstappen, he needs the race start. So let's go Sauce. We'll go with Coppa. Self-control again for Hamilton. I think that's the way to go. Both of us have Baku. But I mean, hopefully we'll score good again. Real player as well. As we await for them to ready up. Eventually. But let's see. P11 and P15. We're expecting a good start from Max Verstappen. Perfect. Royal's got good boosts on as well. Verstappen gets a great start. He's up to P7. Yes, P7. P14 for Hamilton. We're going to keep on boosting because this is the best place to overtake. P4. Power of the race start. P3. And you can see Hamilton on that self-control boost just hasn't got forward at all. So it just shows you how powerful race start is still on this game. Hopefully we can come back through the field with Hamilton. But you can see Verstappen now taking P2. We'll uh, hit the service in and... Lewis Hamilton. We'll do it. We'll do it, Porsche. Don't worry. Whoa. Lost all my drivers. I mean, Hamilton's getting absolutely destroyed here. Has he passed his time? <laughs> in F1 class. Ah. Oh. Verstappen just absolutely flew away. And then we've got... Hamilton down in P15. Where's Verstappen out? P4. Back to softs. Rival's got the Ode boost on. And we're going to push now though with Hamilton. Soft versus mediums. It is true push. Probably a bit of false sense of uh, belief. As to where I think I am. But we're closing the gap. Hamilton's closing the gap as he's eventually allowed to push. And he's up to P8. Verstappen takes the beat in but gets through. And now Hamilton will come in for some softs. Good stop needed by the team. Yeah, sometimes I, I go either way. I probably should do that, David, to be fair. I've done it with uh, Hamilton. I try and get him through past Yuki. Might be small, but he's holding us up. Let's just push up to this, get past Oscar and the Hassa Kevin, who's always in the way. He's always in the way. Because that happens in. Yeah, you always got to take your service in where you can, because obviously it's the, if you can do it the quickest, then obviously it's beneficial. Miami, yeah, good place to do it. Hamilton's into P10, but he's still got a pit again. Just going to try and save some power unit up so we can attack. It's almost like a trained Tokian, David. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely didn't do that. They don't need teaching. P10 Hamilton. Past the rival who's on the mediums. We're going to save that power unit still. Hopefully up to 50%. Verstappen is clear out front. Just like a real F1 race. Yeah, it's, it's, a lot of people go for a one-stop on Baku as well. We'll be in P13. P12. Definitely running out of... Uh, not getting loads of points in this one. Need a few pit stops. Rival's going on as well, so we should pick up the rival. We'll keep pushing. Quite a lot of cars in front of us. Yeah, one stop's not good. Very slow. Works okay at Silverstone, though. 
Can we get through? This is a pack of cars. Come on. Almost not helping us here. Roy was about to run out, so we're going to pick up one position at least. Question is, can we get any more? Surely we get past that rival now. Yes, we do. P9. That is okay. Does mean we get 40 points, though. That's what we aim to do each race. So we'll take that. One good boost gets us P1. It's all about luck on the other driver. We are on 166, so we're all good still at the moment. We'll continue on. As it's absolutely hammering it down here. Wow. It is lashing it down. Where yeah, two pits is good. Let's see what we got though. <laughs> Baku again. Not again. Maybe we use two good drivers, two good boosts here. Try and blast through. Oh, hell, Baku. Hey, it's all like Carlos Snipes. It's all good, mate. Uh, let's go soft mediums again. Let's do... Uh, I know we're using good boosts, but why not? <laughs> We've got a Carlos, though, now. Carlos v. Carlos. We're going to try and score 47. Can a good boost for driver 2 mean that we actually score... Oh, my God. What? How has he gone to P22? <laughs> How bad was that start? Has Baku got a glitch bug in it as well? How has he... What? He's literally not overtaking anybody. Left hand brake. He left the handbrake on. He did. He must have stalled it or something. That was a shocker. And now we've got... I mean, we're going to have a good boost, so we are going to gain some time. But... Oh, I thought we'd score like 40-plus points here this time. Let's come for a pit stop. Softs. That's annoying. Because now he's on the comeback... Has he got a lot of soft tyres ahead? No. Free soft Baku. Yeah, not far off. If I don't boost down the straight, it helps. What have we got? Hamilton. You can if you've got good tyre management, I think. I don't have good tyre management at all. We're going to save some of this power unit because we've got a lot to do here. Because Albon nearly comes past us. Push through the middle sector. Zhou Guan Yu, see you later. Verstappen, with George Russell ahead. Come on. Not going our way in this one. Baku is not our friend. Sergeant, about to put it in the wall. Near enough. So, save the power unit. And in we come. Kawhi boost to help us from P5 and right out the back ahead of Hawking Bird could have got out and pushed it faster yeah probably could have it's all good though I'm going to save the power unit for the soft attack on these hard tyre rivals He, he does sometimes, Carlos. It's same with Lando Norris. Lando Norris breaks down quite often. So P14. Verstappen's coming back out as well. In P4. That's okay. And now we've got a pit again. Past Russell. Can we get past Alonso? Yes, we can. What about Norris? Yes, we can. Make your moves. Finally. Oh, forward into P5. We are now 
and into P4. Time for some soft tyres. Maybe we can maybe we can snatch points here. Where's he going to come out? P11. With who's that? Stroll is it? Yes, yeah, Stroll ahead of us. Easy done. Always easy, Stroll. We got Carlos ahead of us. Not anymore. P9. So we've got one car in the pits, which we'll try and get ahead of on lap seven. Can we push? Can we push? Now we push. Can we get on P3, P7? Should be able to get P6. I mean, could get the Ferrari and the Red Bull here. Get P2. Job done. Got Perez ahead of us now. And we do snatch P5, so we are going to get 43 points. Nah, he wasn't as bad in the end. Chasing down the Ferrari all the time, who accelerates away from us on the straight. But some good points. Yeah, when you hit the middle bit. And maybe they should put real-life crashes back in here. <laughs> Replicate Leclerc. I mean, nobody crashes in that middle section ever, pretty much. But 43 points is good for us. And what does that put us up to? 209. So we are 141? No. Yes, 141. So if we scored 47 three times, we could do it in three races. We've got a good matchup, so we could potentially do it. Depends on the track. Brazil, we could do it. I might try and go for the free race 141 GP qualifying mode. That would be pretty good. P12, P13, you should score good points from here. Let's go Cupa. Let's go Star Mediums. Pierre Gasly is a man on a mission. Here we go. Come on. P5, P11. Can we get even higher? And then we can chill. P2. Mode GP qualifying well underway. Uh, Macau, they are due um, around the second week of May. So you're looking at around the 6th, 7th or 8th of May. That kind of uh, time is when you would expect to see it. P2 Verstappen. P6 Hamilton. This Hamilton out front's absolutely bolted. We'll try and get back past them, which we can. Can we get Hamilton into P5? Yes, we can. But yeah, new season's not that far away now. Less than, what is it, two and a half weeks? Two weeks from now? Or well, three weeks, isn't it? Three weeks. Connor Games here. Welcome, Connor. Welcome, Erlong, announcing himself back. We've got Hamilton in P3 now. And into P2. This week, this pit path finishes. Yeah, the week it pit stops. Yep. Yeah, it won't be far after that. It usually finishes on a Wednesday. But I think there just won't be one at the weekend. It's my guess. And then it will start on the following Monday. 
So P3 and P2, medium tyres. Yeah, kind of not very far away. So you'll be back on it in no time. Let's get Verstappen through. We're on mission 47 points a race. Three races. Can we do it? Imagining this is a GP race. We're up to P1. This is a stop us having to do a fourth race. And he's in. Hamilton in Verstappen, no service. Should be good. But I mean, what's with the hair? It's fine. What's wrong with it? <laughs> yeah, sprint races, they'll either turn off or they'll start it on a Wednesday. It'll be one or the other. I can't see them giving us sprint races on the very start of the week. Unexpected. Just shorter. It's all good. Had it, had it freshly done at the weekend. And usually I've got a cap on, to be fair. I've been at work today. That's the reason why. P1, P2. Potential job done in Brazil. That means we need two races of 47. And we'll be banging the money. Easy work. We surely, I think we all know what's coming, don't we? We know we're not going to get a third good reward. Uh, Mark, you are probably right with the grey, if I'm honest. I would not say... What's going on with that? Hold on a minute, folks. I mean, it's a lovely, it's a lovely picture. Come on. Right, now it don't want to connect. We've just won, though. I mean, we're going to start streaming like this now. <laughs> Uh, it has legit crashed. Hold on, folks. Hold on. We're rescuing it. What we got now? Some statue or something. Looked away, Keith. That's the problem. You looked away from the stream. Hold on a minute. This is a temporary intermission. <laughs> Why is it not connecting again? Hold on a minute. It doesn't usually crash like that. Give us a second, folks. He'd put 50p back in the meter. And it'll work again. Put the 50p in. And it works. <laughs> it's 40 gone deaf. <laughs> so what am I on? 256. So that's... No, it is 94, yeah. So I need 47 again. This decent enough matchup with racist guy in Zanvor, I think. Brazil again. We got a chance. Back to back 47s. Incoming. You never know. Let's see where we match. This will be hard to get 47 points. I think this player was decent off memory. Uh, we're going to go for. Copa, we are going to go Saar again. Let's see what we can do. Can we do... It should be all good now, Carlos. Hopefully it should be all good. New season, Oliver, it's around the 6th of May. 6th, 7th, 8th of May. Hook should announce it in the next week, I would say. <laughs> I like it, David. <laughs> Q3 
PSG levels up 1 1. Ooh. Right, let's see if we can get the points. 47 required. Street Shark for the rival. New green screen. Maybe. That would be nice. I'll set up a GoFundMe page for a green screen. <laughs> I can pretend I'm on the Williams pit wall or something. Or in Hutch office. Twenty one oh five DC. We're not DCing. Can't stop him. P three. P seven for Hamilton. Who has P one? Oh, P one's bolted. That's going to be an issue. We're into P2, though. But P2, backdrop Villa Park. <laughs> no, there'll be people like Legacy who won't like it, I think. I'm sure Legacy was the West Brom fan. What have we got? P7. P2. Could, can we get 47 points? Can we? Nah, maybe we're not far away. I mean, if only we could do that in GP and get back to back Brazil. <laughs> I mean, we have got Brazil in the wet, haven't we, actually? But Hamilton's in a good spot. That Red Bull carries on. Leclerc carries on as well. What are they on out front? Ooh, this is going to be tough. Wesley, I wouldn't even know how to do it. If I could, if I, if I could get load subtitles on for all the countries, absolutely. Ah, David, no chance. I mean, if it was going to go anywhere, I could see him there, yes. But hopefully not. So into P1 we go. Where are we going to come back out? Get ahead of science would be decent. Thank you. Operation 47, under pressure. As we take P6. And we've still got a pit with Verstappen, P5. Chris, welcome. We're just on our last sprint crate. We need to score 47 points in this race and 47 points in the next race. And we'll be on our last pit crate. What team do you support in the Premier League? MQZT Aston Villa is the team I support. I am a season ticket holder for the last 20 years. Showing my age there. Armando, welcome as well. Yeah, Watkins, we'd ask 100 million easy. He's English as well. Adds another 700 million to it. And into P2, 47 points. We needed it. We called it. We got one race, 47 points required for the last sprint crate. Question is, can we get 47 points? Will it be a decent track where we can get it? Brazil is my favourite one. Race that track all day long. It's great. We cross the line to start the last lap. But he's going to give us Belgium or something in the next one. I'm telling you. 90 million he goes. Meh. We'll see. Rafael, we're running low on all of them now. It's getting lower and lower. I've kind of gave up and used them in the hope that I can get to 95%. That's the key. But we do take 47 we are going for the 141, 347s. We've got two of them. Rival finished P10. And looking like they're going to run out of tyres and probably finish 21st. 
It might even be worse than 21st. I mean, I'm going to lap them. And it's going to be 23rd. Uh, Chris, I am on 93.91. So 1.09%. Which doesn't sound a lot. But it is a lot. <laughs> what do we got? 303. 47. Be a good track. Be a good track. Dortmund 2-1. Ooh. I could do with German clubs getting knocked out to help us. Yeah, we don't need the money anyway, but you never know. I need the money, though. Me. Need a decent matchup. This is GP territory now. Decent matchup, decent track. Here we go, DC time. Thanks, Hutch. We'll try again, shall we? Decent matchup. Will it be a decent track? Might be a safety car, Carlos. Canada and Montreal. This is going to be tough. To score 47 points. From 12th and 15th. So. Copper. Kawhi. Let's go for it. Yes, I can see 46 points in coming here quite easily. Rivals use a boost as well. We'll use boost too. So Verstappen needs a good start. He's gone right round the outside. We're bang with a good start here. Verstappen, P8. Hamilton. Oh, yes, even better from Verstappen, P6. This is a very good start. Dive up the inside of Leclerc. Take another one while you're there. Not quite. P4, P nearly. But it's P5 and P7. Oh, into P6. Come on, get past, get past. Double red ball out front. As we get a subscribe, Mr. BNG. Welcome along, my friend. Nathan, you're a beast. Round the outside. Oh. We're in with a chance here of 47. If we just hold up Norris and give him into the clutches of Hamilton. So we're going to have to pick this time round. What's P1 on? Soft. P1's Mustafa on mediums. He's flying. Let's try. We've got to try and close that gap. Magnuson up to level five. That's not bad. Take an upgrade all day long. We are hunting down this last sprint crate, Dan. We have got 47 points required. We have done two lots of 47. We needed three lots of 47. To get 141. So we've been doing it like a GP. And uh, at the moment. We're trying to hunt down Max Verstappen. Who is holding P1 in this race. We're getting closer though. Everyone's playing. Oh that's an interesting group Dan. Verstappen will actually go. He will go five laps. Yes I forgot that they do go five laps the mediums. We need Hamilton to get some clear air. And he is going to come out in P4. All to play for. Could do even getting past Norris. Good old Chuck. Come on, get through. Get through. Inside line. Come on. There's a Stappen. 
ready for the weekend markers already. Good stuff. Norris, is Norris going to pit now? Yes, he is. So that releases Hamilton, where the Red Bull's just coming out of the pits. Oh, he's just going to get us. Verstappen's got a pit, though, still. So Verstappen's in danger. Verstappen is on medium tyres. With 46 points, is very likely here. As we squeak one up the inside. Now we've got to get Verstappen out. Come on, Max. Max is into the lead. Hamilton P2. We might have just three lots of 47 it to get the 141 we required. Let's push Hamilton through here. I think we're looking good. As we cut back down. And we'll push for Stappen. Looks like we're going to be good. Get that comments chat box are going what is our last reward of the evening going to be let us know because we are going to get the 47 points well work that was as well i can't even do that in gp never mind in jewels i don't know why it feels easier in jewels and that's without probably because of the boosted drivers k mag why not dan says could be K-Mag. Could be K-Mag. PSG just scored. Right then. Great race. Rival just coming home in P6, P15. Norris, Nathan says, update. I don't know if they'll ever do red flags in races. I think it would be interesting. Perez Porsche goes for. Perez would go up a level if we got Perez. Oh, Dan, every single opponent I've got has been pretty much lower. Come on, crate. It's got to be good, Rafael. Got to be good. T1. So, make sure you do all hit the like button. And make sure you subscribe if you are as well. Obviously, we'll have our qualifying guide out for you tomorrow, which will be good for you. Fastest lap required as well. And, well, qualifying guide's already out, but the actual qualifying video will be tomorrow. Same with some F1 manager, as always. David goes Vector, Daddy Stroll for Mark. Yeah, Perez. We will take Perez. So here we go. What's it going to be? Any upgrade possible, please. 12, Nova. 7, Gasly. 3, Leclerc. And then, here we go. It is going to be a drum roll to finish the stream. got to be somewhere good well i mean it's not going to be good is it we've had two great rewards airy got hulk magnus and blocker francis poof mayor oh no that don't sound too good juliani says lol wild core nathan says <laughs> not close to max either oh no not 97 that is awful awful so let's show you what we're going to be running tomorrow five percent boost comes in with who is it hamilton and k mag will they be our best drivers hamilton will of course uh kevin magnuson probably not and then onyx level five probably won't be usable uh, maybe on the uh, qualifying positions it might be. 
but we'll soon, soon. The closest one I've got to asset trading, I think, is suspense. 729 out of a thousand. Don't think I'm going to get that to max level, though. Anything else that's close to max level? Spectrum. Uh, what else have we got? Presence is nearly level 8. Not a lot, actually. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Sergeant, 714 out of 1,000. Uh, and that's about it. There's our Perez look. I'd have took some Perez. That would have been good. Our best driver. Free fire to level 7 it takes forever. But that's going to be it on the stream. We appreciate you hanging out. It's been a blast. Make sure you like, subscribe. And tomorrow, we'll be back for that qualifying video. So, we'll keep grinding. But in the meantime, job done. Alonso, Joe Guan Yu, and Wildcore. And uh, we'll look forward to catching you in our qualifying round. Make sure to comment on the videos as well. Appreciate the support and we'll catch you later on.